Welcome back to Arx Fatalis. It's been a little bit since I've played, so I kind of forgot what I was doing, but I think I've situated myself again. So I know I just got the mithril, I know I need to forge the ultimate weapon, and I have two molds with which to do that. A two-handed sword and a normal sword, although honestly, looking at these, like, if you actually look at the sizes of these things... This two-handed sword looks like the size of a normal sword. Actually, it looks kind of like a rather small sword. And this thing is just tiny. It's almost like a freaking dagger. It's it's an extra long dagger, but... Yeah, these things seem way too small. I don't know, I guess they're not to scale. Or something. Which is weird, because a mold obviously has to be to scale, because, you know, you pour the stuff inside of it and that is your object. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Yeah, so let's go ahead and forge that weapon. And also, in this episode, by the way, I am going to revisit the... Ow, I just burned my toesies again. Also in this episode, aside from burning myself for no good reason, I am going to revisit the troll's birthday present. Yes, I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten. I will do it. But first, let's do this. Okay. Um... I guess I'm just going to be making a normal sword, right? Because a two-handed sword obviously means you can't use a shield, and I do not want to go without the shield. Not that it gives amazing armor protection. I mean, when you look at my total armor class, losing 7 from that is probably not that big of a deal. But the plus 40% magic resistance is huge. And given that it takes two chunks of metal to make a weapon, and I have two, uh, four chunks of mithril, I'm guessing that means I could make one of each. Or maybe I could two-hand, or dual-wield swords. Yeah, except this game doesn't have dual-wielding. At least, I don't think so. No, no, it doesn't. Where's my, my book? Where's my book? Actually, wait, this isn't... No, it's actually not the instruction manual. It's, uh... This one. Okay, place a powerful stone in the machine to give it energy. Done. Place two large pieces of ore into the oven. Okay. Oven. That is probably... this. I'm gonna save here, just in case I totally fuck this up. Should the need arise to bind the metal, add a reagent to the mix. Oh, wait, that's right. I need to use the Kultk powder. Mmm. Say that ten times fast. Kultk. 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 Lovely. Well, in that case, that means I can't make two weapons, right? Unless I find more Kultk powder. Alright. Something is Maybe that's not the thing. Is this, where the, is this where the end product is? I mean, why did those things smash? Is this the oven? Yeah, pull the lever to make the ingot. Maybe this is the oven. Actually, yeah, this probably is the oven, isn't it? Something. Yeah, I'm not sure what the smashy bit is about, but that does look more like an oven. I guess. Okay, there we go. That makes absolutely no sense. What the hell? <laughs> this stuff burned. There's literally nowhere for this material to actually leave here. There's no, like, drain or anything. Just a box, and then it disappeared, and then this thing smashed nothing, and an ingot appeared. Alright. Whatever. It's the weirdest forge ever. 
Mm -hmm. Put the mold of the object you wish to make into the caster. Place the ingot in the oven. Mm. Is that the caster? I mean, this has got to be the oven, so... That process makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But I'll take it. Damage plus 20, holy shit! It's a meteor saber. It doesn't even have any stat requirements. I could just use it. Holy shit. Well, I'm gonna be ditching the stat bonuses of this thing, but I'm okay for having 20 damage. I'll take it. Whoops, I didn't mean to take my pants off. I was trying to rotate my character, but then I just remembered you can. It's too bad it's kind of ugly, though. It looks pretty hideous, all blue like that. It looks like somebody took a marker to it. Like a blue highlighter or something. Or dipped it in paint. Well, just for funsies. Let's make a two-handed sword. It's probably going to be absolutely nothing special compared to what you could just buy, but I want to try this. Alright, um... Close enough? <laughs> I guess. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Is that actually gonna work? It did work. Alright. Yeah, it's just a standard two-handed sword. Nothing special. I guess I'll take it to sell it. Actually, here's something I want to know. This is almost certainly not going to work. Let's, uh... Let's put this here. It's not even straight. I want to know, can you make a gold sword? I mean, it says gold bar, not gold ingot, but I mean, they're kind of the same thing. This wouldn't make any sense, but I'm really curious. Something's wrong. Aww. Um, I'm assuming if I was here when it smashed, it would probably kill me. Alright, can I do... this? Yeah, I made a gold bar. Look at that. Huh. It's probably worth more than the individual chunks of gold on their own. I would assume so, because otherwise there's probably no reason to do it. Alright, so if I just put two chunks of mithril without the cultic powder, it's probably going to do nothing. Oh, no, it's, it's here. It, I guess it's just not quite as special. Perhaps. Hmm. I really don't have anything to make with it, but... I guess I'll save it in case I find another mold or something. I'm kind of sad it wasn't a more involved process. I wanted to, like, take it and have to heat it up and, like, pound it. You know, do the whole forge thing. Take it. Ah, burn my toes again. Take it to the anvil. Would have been cool. Have to make a handle for it. Oh well. No, put, no, take, sword. There we go. So I think I can actually enchant this, because technically it's not enchanted. Yeah, it's, it's not enchanted. In fact, maybe I have to enchant it. Let's see what this says. Hmm. 
thought I heard my quest log update, but I don't see anything here. But didn't this say something about... I said something... Something extra. I think I mentioned enchanting. I wonder if I have to enchant it. Yeah, the final stage is the enchantment of the weapon. Although the quality of the weapon ultimately depends more on the metal chosen in the forge used than on the element it's combined with. Okay. Garlic does that. Powdered bone adds some more power to the weapon, even more effective if the bones come from a dragon. Uh... How the hell would I find dragon bones? I can make it indestructible if I give it Amakar's rock. Actually, it's already indestructible. Yeah, it has no durability. Never mind. A dragon's egg allows the weapon to damage the element it is made of. Dragon's egg? Wait, what does the golem heart do? I can't enchant it. I forgot exactly what that does. Let's do it, actually. Let's save it and then do it. I shouldn't do this. Uh. Okay. Not a good idea. Why? Also, it just occurred to me, I have no fucking clue what to do now that I've done this. What what was I doing? Why why did I want this weapon? Right, it's to face Akba. Where, where's Akba? Hmm. Did I complete it? I don't know. I don't think I have to deal with that for a long time, because I still have the rest of this place to explore, which should contain some more for the treasure hunt, the lava island that I'm going to be looking for. And I have a troll's birthday present, so I don't even think I'm going to get to using this weapon for its intended ultimate purpose of facing Akba in this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and head back. Um, you know, I was going to go back to do the troll thing right now, but actually, I want to find the teleport thing for level 8. Because I want to be able to quickly come back here, so I'm actually not going to completely leave. I want to find the teleport thing before I do that. I'd like to use my super speed here, but I can't. Because unfortunately magic is not allowed. Everything fizzles. So let's go back and look for the teleport thing. Navigation in this place is... contrived. If that's the right word. Not that the level designers didn't know what they were doing, but just because this whole place is like half collapsed and stuff. Would have been quicker to go the other way. Oh well. Okay, now we're back to pretty much where I started. Yeah, this is crushed. That used to be the way to get to the forge. So, the only way to go is somewhere around here. Alright, looking for a lava island and looking for the teleport. Hmm. Which way to go? Let's go this way. Oh, right. Should probably put my, put my weapon back, huh? It's blue. It's got a case of the Smurfs. Lava Island. Lava Island. This could be a lava island. It's a moat. Oh yeah, it's gotta be somewhere out here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> this actually kinda reminds me of Minecraft, you know? Obsidian and lava.
Hello. Let's see if these stones burn. They do, but they don't get destroyed. So they just send off endless streams of particles that are probably going to have my FPS, so let's not put that there. Oh, that's got to be the island. Oh, and there's a teleport. I just have to jump on little bits of, little bits of land above lava to get to it. Or I could levitate, which is what I'm actually going to do. Magic is allowed here, right? I think it just wasn't allowed in the forgery place. The, the forgerium? That sounds cool. Alright, where's my leviathan spell? There we go. Let's see if I can remember this. Mega Spasium. I know Spasium, I think. What's Mega? It's one of the directions. There we go. Uh, This? No. Oh, no, it is. Yeah. There we go. And that is all of the places I can possibly teleport. Nice. Hmm. It's like one of the tracks actually goes over the island, so I suppose you could... If you can, assuming you can actually use these things, perhaps you could use them to get over it. But I could also just levitate. Hmm. You think if I jumped to that ladder, I could actually grab onto it? Nope. Now we know. I guess I'm wearing too much armor. I'm too heavy. There's the next note. I've got to be getting to the end of the treasure hunt, too, because this is the very last level. Yeah. That's the last clue. I, I guess I can put it all together. Hold on. Okay. Fourth clue. This is the fourth clue. So what does this say? Clue number four. What? Uh, anyway. First clue. Okay, I think I'm missing one of the clues because one of the clues is actually not on a piece of paper. It was written on that public notice that I used the reveal spell to find. But anyway. The key to the treasure is on level... I think it's at three, right? Shit, I wrote it down somewhere. I wrote it down on an old piece of paper. Um, where is it? Oh, here, I found it. Um, three, use the object you. Okay, so. Three, use the object you. Three, use the object you. So, the key to the treasure is on level. Three, use the object you used in order to find clue number four in the southeast corner. The object I used to find clue number four. Well, but you're calling this clue number four. I didn't use an object to find this clue. I guess you're talking about this one. The one that actually says, here's the fourth clue. Wait, no. I'm confused. Whatever. I'll deal with that later. I've got troll business to do.
Oh, that's supposed to be lava. I just realized that stuff on the map is supposed to be lava. It looked like blood and or like meat. Like just meat. Yeah. To see if I can actually get to this ladder with levitate. I don't know if I can use a ladder from levitate. Okay, let's go do the troll thing. Get, get, get me out of here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the corner of this thing. Alright, whatever. Let's go here. Then, let's go to the castle. Alright, so I took a look at what everybody said when I asked a while ago about uh, if anyone had any ideas on what I could give the troll. Heard a couple different things. One of them mentioned that there's, I think it was, there's some sort of a picture book to give him. And that, well, who would perhaps have a picture book? Was kind of the hint, and I'm thinking, well, mm -hmm. the only person I can think of that actually is a librarian of any sorts is the Adernium in here that I could get to if the stupid fucking guard would let me through. <laughs> I really need to get some new boots. Yeah, you do that. Alright, the thing is... The thing is, though, I've already talked to her and she didn't... Like, I never mentioned anything about a picture book. Maybe I just need to talk to her again? I come in search of a book which contains pictures of the outside world. Okay. This is the book you're looking for. Take it. It's yours. <sighs> Alright, so I, the thing is though, I think I've talked to her before. Like, did, haven't I talked to her since getting the quest? I'm guessing that I just had another topic to talk to her about, and perhaps it kind of queued them up, so I had to talk to her multiple times? I don't know. This quest is set up very strangely, though. I mean, I'm, I think I searched the books. I'm pretty sure I searched the books for, like, a picture book or anything that would have pictures, right? So it's weird that it's not just on the shelf. You have to ask somebody about it. I would have preferred it if you could just pick it up. It's very strange. Alright, where did you go? I want to see if I can see these pictures. Is that it? Landscapes of the outside world. Aw, I can't even read it. Damn it. Alright, well, it's time to go finish the quest that I started at pretty much the very beginning of the game. It's been a long time coming. Watch, my reward is probably going to be like a loaf of bread. <sighs> oh, for the love of God, I'm stuck on this thing again. What the hell? Is it like magnetic? I mean, I am wearing a lot of armor. I guess I would stick to it. Alright, let's see if this is the one. No, that's not the one. Is it level 4? Hi. Do it. Ah! Get on fight. No! Come back! Fight! What's that? Oh, fuck! I'm stuck again! 
<laughs> Fuck you. I think it's level two. Yeah, here we go. Hello. Play me a song. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. No song? <laughs> Wait, is that actually him? Shouldn't he be named? It just says... Patrol. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Hello, my friend. You bring present for Gru's birthday? I do. I know your birthday was two months ago. Okay, I'm a little bit late, but here you go. How does that please you? Oh, yes! Oh, Gru like that! Oh, you very nice! You Gru's best friend! You is know how to make Gru happy! Now, now Gru give you present for birthday too! Yeah, take that! That troll amulet! No troll attack you when you got that! Thank you. I finally did it. A troll's amulet. A thing that I literally got about a half dozen of when I killed a bunch of trolls. Well. Can you even wear it? Maybe just carry it on you? I don't know, but it's uh, completely irrelevant at this point. Oh well, it's okay. Nice to just give him a present. Let's see if I can go leave him something else. There you go. The richest troll in all the lands. Also, oh! I, ow. Another thing I should uh, probably do, I don't have to do it any, I mean there's really no reason to do it other than I'm just curious, but uh, where is it? Mm, oh, I'm stuck again, great. Let's go to level three. Remember that I gave the Book of Finance to the troll leader? Yeah, this is actually the right one. Well, evidently that opens up a store where you can buy very cheap gems, I think it was. I'm not actually sure where the store is, but I'm assuming it's just somewhere near. Yes. Hi, friend. Alright, is that one of you? You friend, you friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's probably just this, right? I forgot that the store system works by chests. Pog, new gem dealer. You is great friend of trolls. We do deal for you. Thank you, Pog. Yeah, wow, these things are super cheap. I wonder if I can sell them for more than I can buy them. I mean, I don't think they have any practical purpose, right? So I guess they're just for buying and then, you know, buy low, sell high. Alright, I'll buy all your gems. Oh, I forgot you can't buy in stacks. Oh, whoa, did he just instantly refresh his stock? Let's test this. Alright, so it's 48 for an emerald. Okay, that one did not refresh. Hi. I can feel you breathing down my neck. Actually, no, you're too high up for that. You're breathing on my head. So I wonder if they sell for more at the store. 
Let's go find out. Thank God for the speed spell. Bottom for 48, and they sell for... Oh, you're not the right person. You are. Yeah, wow, they sell for 122. And I can actually uh, boost that if I use the mm, Bless spell. But I don't really care that much. Cool. What do you remember? Tell me! Okay, well, something really else I need to buy. I do want to go see if the shopkeeper in here has restored her stock of um, torches, because I really could use them. I don't think she does, though. I've checked multiple times. No. God damn it. I mean, I guess with the whole, like, you have to go overland with the Guild of Travelers and, like, it's super dangerous, I guess that means restocking your supplies is a little bit difficult. It's understandable. Fine, fine. Okay, what else is there to do? Before doing the main quest, of which I have no idea how to do. Um, two things I want to do, actually. Let me take a look at this treasure hunt thing and see if I can figure out what the hell's going on with it. I'll be right back. Okay, so the notes for the treasure hunt are a little bit wonky, but I think I get what I have to do. So the basic message is, again, the key to the treasure is on level, and then this next part was on the plaque, not on a note, is on level 3. Use the object you used in order to find clue number 4 in the southeast corner. So on level 3, which is where I'm at, in the southeast corner, which is roughly where I'm at, I'm supposed to use the object that I used to find clue number four. Now, here's where the ordering gets a little mixed up, because this is the first clue, right? Here is the first clue. Here is the second clue. Now, the next clue, clue number three, was the one that was on that plaque thing, so I don't actually have that in my inventory. So then the one after is, here is the fourth clue, right? But then, the one I just got says clue number four. So we go from here's the fourth clue to once again clue number four. It, I, I don't get it. It seems like there's two clue number fours. But, uh, given that there's two clue number fours, and this last one, the lava island thing, I didn't actually use an object to find. Because that's what the directions say, right? Use the object that you used to find clue number four. Well, I didn't use an object to, to get this, I just used the levitate spell. So, pretty sure this is the actual clue number four. And I believe this is the one that I found with the shovel. At least, well, that's what the directions on that plaque said. Right, they said, use the shovel. Somewhere on that level, although if you remember, I, I didn't actually find this clue by using the shovel. It was just sitting on the ground and I never used anything to find it, which was very strange, but I was supposed to use the shovel, apparently. So, in other words, I believe I'm supposed to use the shovel in the southeast corner of level 3. So, let's go looking. Gonna break my legs here. Or not. Yeah, apparently I haven't been down there, because those spiders are still alive. So there's gotta be something I can dig up. Probably at the bottom there. How many torches do I have? Just the one.
Let's go say hi to the spiders. <gasps> Come to me, you fiendlings. Where the hell do they go? My arm's getting tired. Whoa, I haven't been here. Yeah. Could have sworn I've been here before. These bodies certainly seem picked clean. Yeah, didn't I take a look at this stack of bodies looking for a ring? Oh. I guess I just missed the ring. Sweet! Another torch. And a ring that, as it turns out, I don't actually care about anymore because they suck. Horribly. Alright, anyway, that's not the southeast corner. Back here. There you are. Alright, so where could I use my shovel? I mean, it'd have to be something that had an activatable spot, right? Yeah. I think. I've probably totally fucked up the directions for that treasure hunt. I am probably looking at the exact wrong spot. This is the southeast. Southeast corner. I mean, I suppose up there is a little bit more southeast. I mean, surely it wouldn't be completely hidden, would it? You'd see something, right? But then again, if you saw something, then wouldn't it be too easy to accidentally solve the last part of the puzzle without actually having even started it? That's why I wonder if it is completely hidden. I mean, I keep thinking, like, this looks kind of like a pile. But it's not lighting up. Wait, does that do anything? No. I guess I can just go around like this, waiting for this thing to light up. I mean, it always lights up when you put it over a body, so that's not it. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up. be here. This is not... I mean, it says southeast corner. It doesn't say, like... It doesn't have to necessarily be the extreme southeast, I suppose. But it probably is. I mean... Unless they're cruel, cruel bastards. I gotta get back up. This just seems like it, doesn't it? This is the most southeast you can really go. Is there anything up there? Is that a thing up there? I can't climb that, there's no way. 
I don't see anything here. <laughs> this looks so stupid. If anybody was watching me, just holding a shovel in front of my face and just like touching everything. Well, shit. I seem to have fallen. I don't think there's anything up there. I don't know. God, I just wish I had more fucking torches. Got to do like this. Like, toggle it on and off. I don't know, I wish I could be more sure that this is actually what I'm supposed to be doing, but with the weird mix-up with the note numbers, I'm not 100% confident. You know, hold on. Let's try... This doesn't make any damn sense, but... I'm going to try Reveal, and I'm going to try to Levitate. The thing is, that's not an object, that's a spell. And I don't believe that's associated with clue number four, except for the second clue number four, which was the Lava Island, which did require Levitate to get to. But, you know, aside from that. Again, I don't know the range on this, but let's try Reveal. I could tell anything changed. Let's try levitating over there. No, there's nothing up there. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I guess I can try a reveal here, because it does seem a little bit strange that there's this whole area here with nothing in it. No clue. Alright, well, I'll solve this next episode. And there's also something else I want to do, back down in the crypts. There's something that I left unexplored. Well, no, I, I didn't leave it unexplored. I explored it, but I just couldn't figure it out. And I want to. It's in the, like, maze of the damned, lost, whatever. Is it here? Yeah, I think it's this stuff here. So I think I'm gonna check that out, too. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.